Our threshold for anxiety and depression is much lower right now. Even the strongest amongst us mentally are in a weird place. So when we have additional disruptions, like disruptions to our sleep cycle, disruptions to the amount of light we're getting in when we're awake, it's just one more factor in an already really tough year for so many people. Daylight savings time actually does have an effect on our body. By setting that clock back, people are actually waking up when it's dark rather than when it's light. And so they're not getting that stimulation of, hey, it's time to reset your circadian rhythm. Our circadian rhythms or the flow of when we sleep and when we're awake dictate so many different processes in the body. When the clock falls back, people usually will experience sleep disturbance for somewhere between one to two weeks. People sometimes who have more seasonal moves to their mood, they will experience more depression and sadness. We know that chronic sleep deprivation increases the risk of heart disease and strokes and heart attacks. We know that when we don't have consistent circadian rhythms, then insulin gets thrown off. What can you do to start preparing yourself for daylight savings time? Start going to bed earlier because we don't want this whole concept of sleep deprivation to set in. Have a nighttime routine that calms you down. I recommend anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour before you go to sleep that you turn off devices and you start slowly getting ready for bed and and then doing something relaxing that doesn't actually involve blue light or devices. Once you get tired, that's when you get to bed. You don't want to go to bed too early just to make sure that you're in bed by a certain hour. And I think getting consistent exercise because we know that exercise helps with that endorphin release. You're going to have less opportunity to get sunlight, but even 20 to 30 minutes of indirect sunlight in the morning through a windowsill can really help to reset your circadian rhythm. Light therapy has been proven in research to work very well. It's really important that you set aside some time every single day for self-care. It can be anything just from listening to music, lighting the candle, or just having a little bit of alone time where you don't have responsibility. Finally, don't give up on social connections. It's a difficult time right now as most of us are still staying at home and there's a lot of social distancing directives, but make sure that you connect with one person you care about a day. Even a brief interaction like that can bring you a lot of positivity and a feeling of community when you need it most.